Hey everyone, my name's Byron. Uh, I work at Blackpool Fire College in the sports department and uh, today I'm going to be giving you a video on what things we can do while we are literally just sat in a chair. Okay, uh, there's lots of different types of exercise routines we can do. Um, some aren't going to be too difficult, uh, some might be a little bit challenging for some people but we're all going to give them a go. Okay, uh, and we're also going to do some stretching and mobilisation uh, on some of the just literally sitting down movements and uh, maybe some stretching movements as well. Okay, so we're going to get started. And um, we also need um, a few bits of equipment. And what I've got today is two tins of soup. We just need two tins of soup, okay? That's all we need. It doesn't have to be soup. It can be a tin of beans. It can be a tin of peaches. Anything you want, okay? But we need two tins of the same weight, okay? Nothing too heavy. I don't want you bringing out a, you know, a full crate of paint or anything like that, okay? No big tins of paint, okay? Just keep it nice and simple. Uh, we've got some small two tins of beans, okay? So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to sit on our chair, okay? If we're already sat on our chair, that is great. So, we're going to put our hands on our knees, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to gently start to lift up our feet and back down again. So, on our tiptoes, we're going to go up and back down. Up and back down, okay? So, we're on the floor, hands on our knees. Lifting our feet all the way up as high as you can go, so you can just about sit the bottom of your socks. And back down again. Back up and back down. And these are calf raises, okay? So this works your legs here. This is your calves all the way down here. And you're just going to start to create a bit of tension in those calves, okay? So in the upwards phase and the downwards phase, keep going nice and easy, okay? That's great. Back up again. And back down. We're going to do 10 of these, okay? We've done seven already, I have. Eight, nine, and ten. Okay, that's great. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to use exercise on our legs still. Okay, and we're going to just bring our legs out in front of us if we can. And let's see the front palms of our feet. Nice and easy, okay? If you want, you can put your hands down by your sides and bring both legs up together. This type of exercise now is going to work our quads, so the top parts of our legs now. So up as far as you can in front of you, okay? Nice and easy. Back up again, and we're gonna do 10 of these as well. Okay, keep going. How many are we on now, I've lost count. <laughs> All right, we'll do three more. One, two, and three. Okay, that's great. So now we're gonna to start to bring ourselves up on the body a bit, okay? And we're gonna try and rotate where we are, seating down, Nice and easy like this, from side to side. So, these are gonna be nice trunk twists, okay? So from side to side, put your hands on your hips if you want to while you're doing this. And this is gonna to start to kind of stretch out the upper parts of our back, okay? Lower parts of our back as well, okay? You've been sat down for a while, you should be able to feel this, this should be nice and good for you. Stretching parts of the back, just getting that mobilized. Keep going, nice and easy. That's good. Couple more seconds of this now. Okay, keep it going. One more from side to side. And there we go. Okay, bring it to our arms now, okay? We're just gonna start rotating our wrists round, okay? So just from the side on view, we're gonna do it like this, okay? Keep going like this, keep going for both hands. Nice and easy. And then bringing them back the other way, okay? Nice and mobilizing our hands now, our lower parts of our arms as well, okay? And then we're gonna to start to bring them round into circles, okay? So bring our full arms up if we can, okay? Nice and wide, okay? We're not doing full like butterfly circles yet. We're just gonna keep them nice and easy, okay? Keep going, and then we're gonna go the other way. That's great, let's keep going. Mobilizing our joints now. This is our upper part of our body now, bringing our shoulders into effect as well. Okay, and now we're going to try and make them a little bit bigger. So our hands up in front of us, back down, back up again, all the way. Back out in front of us, all the way up if we can, back down, back round. So I'll do another five of these. Keep going. Nice and easy, that's good. Okay, up again, last one. Okay, that's great. Now, kind of mobilized our arms, okay? We're gonna do our shoulders again. So let's bring ourselves up like this. We're not doing the dance, okay? We're just gonna go nice and easy. 
back round. So proper mobilising our back and our front parts of our shoulders. Try and just rotate that around for us. Keep going. Okay, now we're going to go forwards. Okay. You're going to start to, you might feel your neck working. I can certainly feel mine working. This is our front parts of our neck. This is our trapezius, okay? Okay, you might feel a little bit of movement. Okay, you should hopefully feel comfortable doing this. Okay, and that's it. That is part of our mobilization exercises, okay? We kind of like got ourselves a little bit warmed up, okay? There's lots of other things you can do as well. We can start standing up and then come back down again. So we're gonna to start to bring it into our exercises now, okay? We're gonna do 10 of these. Sit back down, back up again. That's your third one. Seven to go, back up, back down, back up again. Okay, let's keep it going. Nice and easy, get ourselves up. Back down again, we've got two more to go. One, and two. Okay, gently. Bring yourself back down. Now what we're gonna do is going to bring in our tins of beans. Okay, it's our first kind of like weight exercise, if you will. So if you want to, you can stand up or you can stay sat down. I'm gonna show you in both ways, okay? So sitting down, you're gonna sit on the edge of your seat. You're gonna put your arms down in front of you. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna give me some bicep curls, okay? Nice and easy like this, okay? Back up, I'll show you from the side view. Okay, this is the movement we want to get. So coming all the way down and all the way up. If you notice I'm not doing this, okay, you don't want to be doing this, because you're not gonna really work much of your arm, it's going to be more of a swinging action, okay? So by your sides, up, and down again, back up, and down, okay? So, I'm gonna do 10 of these on each arm. So that's one, two, keep it going, three, Nice and easy now, using that technique. Four into it now. Five. Okay, I'm gonna show you the last five standing up. Six. Seven. Eight. Keep it up, nice and easy. Nine. And finishing off, last one. That is 10. Okay, if we can stand up on this one, this is great. This is our next exercise we're gonna do. We're gonna be nice and easy by our sides. And we're going to go all the way down to our knees with the tins of soup. Back up again. And all the way down to the other side. And back up again. So I'm just going to show you one with this. So I can point out the areas you're going to be working on. This part of your body here, all the sides, are the areas that you're going to be working on. You've also got your obliques. So you're going to work parts of your core. If you stand sideways on, if you notice, I'm nice and flat. I'm not leaning over. Okay, and I'm not hunching back either. Nice and straight, going down, back up again, all the way back down, and back up again. So I'll pick up this other kind of soup, and we're gonna do 10 of these on each arm. We've already done probably about three or four already. Okay, we're not trying to do this, okay? We wanna gradually bring ourselves back down, and then back up again. Okay, that's good. We'll do another three more of these. Let's go. That's one, second one, two. The sun's playing with me with the camera, isn't it? You can all still see me though, that's great. Okay, that's three. Okay, bringing ourselves back down now, okay? This one is going to be putting the cans of soup on the ground, okay? Picking them up off the floor, and we're just literally gonna do some shoulders. Okay, pull them back down. Back up again, back down. Try not to lift them over your head, just cut them by your sides. But the idea is to just bring them up, back down again. Okay, so that's three. We've got another seven to go. Four, back down. Five, back down. Six, okay. If you don't feel comfortable going all the way to the bottom, just put them back on your knees, okay? Seven, back down, eight, like this, back down, nine, okay, one more, ten, okay, that's great. So, still using the tins of soup now, okay, we're going to stand back up again if we can, pick up those tins of soup, 
or you can stay sat down. I'm gonna show you in both ways. It's gonna be shoulder raises like this. So if I sit down and show you sideways, you're gonna do this. Okay, so you're bringing it round by the side. I'll show you from this angle. See so like that, so it's nice and easy. So you're gonna lead with your elbows. And you're gonna bring them up nice and easy. You don't wanna be leading up with your wrists or your hands, we're not doing this. Like this one, this way. We're gonna be going up like this. Okay, that's great. So pick them both up now. Seated down like this. Nice and easy. Four now. Five. Six. Seven. And the last two, I'll show you upwards. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay. So that is it as far as the tins of soup go for now. Okay. Standing back up. Okay. We are going to try and get ourselves up and down every now and then by doing some sideways steps, okay? So I'm going to step to the side, go down to your knees, come back up, step to the side, go down to your knees if you can, stand back up again, go down to your knees, that's great, stand back up, side step, go back down. If you can't do this, I just want you to start doing sides like this. So try and squat down a little bit, back up, like this. Okay, keep going now. We haven't got an actual repetition of these. We're just gonna keep going until I say stop. Okay, that's good. Keep it going. Okay, that's great. Okay, I apologize about the sun. Uh, it's playing it today. It's uh, it's not been blue sky for, for a couple of days now, is it? So, um, anyway, We've done that side step now, okay, which we were just doing. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit back down on the sofa and we are gonna literally reach over and try and touch our toes. Back up again, touching our toes. Back up, that's two now. Three, back up. Going back up again, four. Six more to go. Five, this is good. Six. Let's go. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. And the last one. Ten. Okay, so that has kind of worked a little bit of our core, a little bit of our back as well. Okay, so back to these tins of soup, okay? You're gonna have one for this. So you're gonna keep yourself nice and flat. Stand up if you want to. And what we're going to do is keep our hands together, holding the soup out in front of us. These are going to be shoulder raises out in front. So if you notice, my arms are like this, okay? They're nice and flat, all the way up. Nice and easy. If you don't want to stand up, you can do it sat down, but keep your back nice and straight. Nice and easy like this, okay? Keep going. So, got another six, seven of these to go. Two, three, keep going, four, nice and easy, five, six. Okay, another exercise with the tins of soup. That's worked our shoulders, from parts of our shoulders. So we've kind of worked most of our shoulders now. We've done a bit of core work, we've done a bit of our legs. Okay, now to work the backs of our arms, okay? These are our triceps. So what we're going to do is we're gonna sit sideways on our chair if we can. Okay, lean forward a little bit, and we are literally going to lean as far forward and bring them back behind us. If you can't do it like that, if you stand up, lean down further on one knee. Try and keep your back nice and fixed, okay? We don't want to be like this. Try and keep it nice and fixed. Arms out beside us, and we're going to bring these back, okay? So if you notice, you'll see the tricep working. All the way up, all the way back. There you go. So my hands, if you notice, are doing this. So that bottom base, or that front base of that can of soup is where you need to be pointing up towards the sky. Two more on this arm. Last one. Marvellous. We're going to turn around, switch hands, tin of soup in this hand now. Okay, same again. Ten of these now. Okay. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, 
three more, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Okay, we can sit back down again. Okay, what I'm going to try and do now is stand on the, or sit on the edge of our seat. Okay, and like we did before when we lifted our legs up, I want us to try and bring our knees up now. So you might need to sit back a bit or you might need to sit on the edge depending on what kind of seat you've got. So supporting yourself with the sides, okay? You're gonna try and bring those knees up towards your chest, okay? If you don't feel confident doing both of them at the same time, just try and lift one up, okay? One after the other, okay? If you're confident, lift two up. If you want, you can be clever, do one, two, and three, okay? So, we're gonna do 10 of these in total, okay? So, off we go. One, two, three. I'm gonna do a combination. Four, five, six. I'm gonna finish off with multiples. Seven, eight, nine, 10. So, you should have felt there a little bit of pressure on your stomach, okay? This is kind of like a, a bit of a core exercise, so it's gonna wear what we call our abdominals also works a little bit of our lower back as well. So depending on how you were sat then, you might need to get yourself just comfortable enough, but still nice and supportive on the seat, so that you can actually do that. And make sure you put your hands both by your sides, okay? So different combinations, right, left, or both of them. Your choice on that one, okay? So, moving on, we've got one more exercise to do, okay? And it involves us kind of sitting on the floor, okay? So if we can sit on the floor, this is great. If you cannot sit on the floor, don't worry, I will show you one that we can actually do sat on the seat. So we've got our tins of soup to finish off with this, okay? So we are sat down on the floor. We've got our tins of soup, and the exercise that we're gonna do now is going to be rollouts, okay? So we've got the tins of soup in front of us, and we're literally gonna try and roll out in front of us and back on the floor. So hopefully you've got a nice skiddy surface. You can use it on the carpet or on some laminate if you want to. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll out as far as we can and then back up again, okay? I'll show you from the side view so you'll see the tin suit moving. Okay, rolling out in front of us as far as we can and then back up again. And again, three, seven more to go of this, four, Five, five left, six. If you notice where my legs are, I'm sat on my knees, sat on the floor, okay? If you want to, you can actually sit on the floor for this one to finish off. And we're gonna do three more. Back up, nine, last one, 10. Okay, sitting down for this exercise, you might find it a little bit difficult, okay? but there's a different way of doing what we would call a rollout. And that is literally not using the tins of soup. We're gonna keep our hands on top of our legs and we're literally just going to roll down our legs. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Touch the floor and then gently come back up. Okay, back down again. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, that's good. You see, so you're stroking your legs all the way down, all the way down your tiptoes and touching the floor, bringing yourself back up again. So you can, if you want to, and you don't fancy sitting on the floor, you can finish off doing the 10 exercises, 10 reps with that, okay? So that comes to the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, we did a mixture of mobilization there and we did a few bits of exercises using just tin soup, okay? Uh, don't forget, a um, couple of pointers. Make sure when you're lifting these tins of soup up, above your head, do not go over the top, okay? Try and keep them out nice by your sides, so if you do unfortunately end up dropping that, you're gonna hit yourself on the head, okay? Um, remember, the seat has to be nice and comfortable. If you don't want to use a sofa, this is just an example, you can just use a complete, nice fixed wooden chair or a leather chair or whichever you prefer, okay? Um, if you're in the wheelchair, you can use the wheelchair. Uh, you can modify that so you can do your different things. Just make sure you put the brakes on, okay, when you're moving about on it. Uh, and that is the end of the video. I hope everyone is okay out there and staying safe. And um, we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. So thank you very much.